Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is a 17 year old Dell Dimension 8100 desktop PC. If you're wondering why it's outside today it's because I opened it up and something literally just flew out of it. There were bodies of spiders that had died last decade inside this thing. I picked this up as part of a 3 PC bundle for about £8 or $10 and unfortunately it's not worth upgrading due to the Socket 423 CPU and the custom sized Dell motherboard but is it still usable in its current state? Despite the massively outdated hardware and software if you've got something like this and paid what this originally cost then you may be hesitant to sell it for a few dollars or pounds or throw it away so let's find out if it can still offer a suitable computing experience. Firing this thing up reveals it's running good old Windows 2000 Pro which we also had no luck in upgrading so far. I think Windows 7 may be supported but the DVD drive doesn't work to boot an installation disk from and trying to upgrade to XP first so that we could go on to 7 and then try and attempt 10 failed as well. So looks like we're stuck with the same software too. Spec wise we've got a 1.3GHz Pentium 4 CPU, GeForce 2 MX400 GPU as well as 128MB of RAM and a 40GB hard drive. Dell listed this on their site as a 2 grand PC but with the office upgrade which this thing has it came in at just under 2250 Speaking of which, opening up our installation of Office 2000 and you're greeted with this memorable and annoying little paperclip thing. We've also got Paint Shop Pro which is fun to play around with here but my brief stint of professionally editing this stock photo was rather rudely interrupted when I was informed that my Norton subscription had expired and that I should renew and upgrade it to Norton 2005. It's actually pretty cool to think that this message could have been flashing up on the screen every day for at least 10 years before my ownership. So we managed to record directly off the screen here, but I apologise if it's a bit laggy and that it only works with 16 colours. Welcome to Internet Explorer 6, the browser that as of 2015, 3.1% of China and 1% of the rest of the world were still using. Unfortunately, as we tried to access a few sites, it was noticeable that support had been dropped for this browser, which was part of a campaign to get users to switch or upgrade as IE6 was lacking in features and contained security holes that weren't fixed until 5 years later. Overall though, it's still an okay experience and there wasn't any significant slowdown or freezes during our full 30 minute browsing session. The only issue is of course that support for Windows 2000 ended in 2010 and you'll feel pretty vulnerable online. It's like dancing through a minefield on all fours or eating uncooked chicken. Okay, maybe not quite, but using this old OS feels like you're the only one in a ghost town. It was once full and thriving and now you're looking at relics that reflect what this once was. There are even some old phone numbers left in the notepad program. On a slightly happier note though, older games are more than playable. San Andreas at 640x480 runs great with the low settings and it's a lot like playing the uh, PlayStation 2 version if you've ever played that and want something to compare it to. Still a great experience. Far Cry, the original, also ran well at 800x600. I couldn't really make out the enemies all that well, but I still had a lot of fun. Overall, a system like this is still usable for basic tasks and some old school gaming and for the price I have no complaints. If you can and if it's bearable to use with 128 megabytes of RAM then I would definitely recommend trying to get Windows 7 installed but it may be cheaper to find a PC a couple of years newer with a newer OS that's already up and running. To be honest this thing really has seen its day but sometimes it's the history of the machine that's more interesting than the hardware and if you're an offline user who needs a cheap solution to store something like spreadsheets as a backup for example this still does an okay job. So guys I hope you've enjoyed today's video and a sort of retrospective on this old Dell Dimension PC. It's hard to believe that this thing is well almost 20 years old now and it just makes me wonder how much more life it's got left in it. So as always guys, let me know your thoughts on this video down below, leave a like if you enjoyed it, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one. 